Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2019 NFL Draft Class, specifically profiling Ryan Finley based on production analytics. So in this video, we're going to talk about Ryan Finley in terms of his high school production score, major college production score, uh, to see what he could potentially be at the NFL level based on what the data has said about players in the past. Um, so if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff out of the way, uh, let's get to the overall data. <laughs> so uh, starting out with uh, Ryan Finley, um, in terms of his uh, high school production score and FBS production score, he had a 76.13 high school production score. It's pretty much hits above the starting quarterback threshold of 69 or higher. Uh, doesn't quite hit the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold of 84 or higher, but definitely pretty decent. Um, High school production score in many ways is, is a, it gives a general idea of development coming out of high school. Um, so the, the, this isn't the final answer about a quarterback becoming a NFL quarterback, but in many ways it tells you the prodigy potential of a player. If a player is utterly below average compared to his peers as a high schooler, then he's going to have a lot of catching up to do, you know, to get back to the level of all those other players. So um, again, that's what high school production data a lot of times shows you is this is what he was compared to his peers at the high school level. And then once they got to college, the development, you know, goes further and further and further and further. Um, so again, uh, that, that's the big thing about high school production data is it's more so about how developed they are coming out of high school compared to their peers and how much catching up they'll have to do. And in many cases, what the data says is that quarterbacks that are more developed coming out of high school typically go on to become the more developed and more consistent starting quarterbacks to uh, to Pro Bowl quarterbacks um, at the NFL level. Uh, on top of that, his FPS production score, his highest FPS production score was a 91.22 out of 100, which basically hits above the starting threshold and the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold. Um, so, And that was based on last year. Ryan Finley had a fantastic season last year. If he had not have had that season, I don't think we would have been talking about Ryan Finley right now. Um, but uh, definitely had a very good season, which brings us into the average scores is average uh, FBS uh, score is 69.75 out of 100. Doesn't really hit the all-pro career threshold, but it's definitely above the Pro Bowl career threshold. And when you get to the average career FBS score, he's definitely below the average Pro Bowl career score and average starter score, but he's definitely very, very close when it comes to Ryan Finley. Um, based on his overall data, Ryan, Ryan Finley is probably never going to end up in the all-pro career range based on his overall data. Um, so that's just something that I think is not in the cards for him. Um, but he definitely has potential to have another decent season um, in, uh, in 2018 and then ultimately has some starter to Pro Bowl career um, potential with him. Um, another negative to him, uh, not a big negative, is, is really just age with him as well. Um, this is someone that I think is, is going to be fairly older, you know, when he comes out. You know, this, he was a redshirt uh, junior last year, so he's going to be a redshirt senior this year. So there is some concern about him being um, hitting the 24 age which 100% uh, of multiple Pro Bowl quarterbacks um, and multiple All-Pro quarterbacks are typically 23 and a half or less um, since uh, the 19, 1983 draft in particular. So um, there definitely is some concern about age with Ryan Finley. But if he has another great season next year, then I think he definitely has potential to at least have starter potential. And I think he has good all-around stats. I think in many ways, Ryan Finley is kind of like Luke Falk last year. Um, he may still be Luke Falk at the end of the year. Um, he may end up just being a six-round pick in many ways. But I do think he has some of the same sort of skill sets that Luke Falk, Falk has with maybe a little bit more velocity on the football as well. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. But let me know in the comment section below what are your general thoughts about Ryan Finley. Uh, and, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.